Hey Scorpios, welcome to your general reading. If you're new, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button as I have so many videos out each month. I'm posting all different kinds with all different decks of cards. And if you're interested in what decks of cards I use in each video, um, check the description box, okay guys? Um, there's lots of information in there. Um, what cards I use, how to contact me for personal readings. So go ahead and um, check out the description box there. So let's see Scorpios. You know I'm a Scorpio, don't you guys? A lot of Scorpio. That's in the description box as well. Okay, my chart. Um, so yeah, Scorpio Sun. I might as well, mine just might as well say Scorpio. <laughs> okay, so let's see here what my Scorpios have in stock. Nine of Swords. I worrying about being on your own. Is that what we're doing now? You know, this is unnecessary worry. Whatever it is you're worried about, it'll come. It'll happen. Right time, right place. It'll happen. Don't worry. And if you've got these stresses, worries, um, it's showing that it's unnecessary. No need to worry here, okay? Things will go in your favour. But nonetheless... We're worrying. We're overthinking here. I have Aquarius Moon, so we overthink, don't we? Because we we want to get deep and to the problem and find out the solution here. We want to know what's going on. Um, so you may be worrying unnecessarily about something here. The Empress. You lot worrying about pregnancies? <laughs> um a new beginning here. So you're worrying about this new start. Will it happen? When will it happen for me? But it shows here with the Empress not to worry, okay? It's coming. The three, three of wands, all positive here. It's coming. Unnecessary worry. This is, um, the Empress is allowing for a life of luxury here. So if you, even if you're worried about money, it's coming. It's going to be sorted out here, okay? And like I said, some of some of you may be worried, like, did I will I get pregnant ever? You know, things like that. If you're like me, you'll be like, I don't want to get pregnant. <laughs> I was just on about this with my friend, that's why I was laughing. Like, I don't want to have a baby. I've had mine, got my granddaughter now, I can spoil her and baby her. Ace of Pentacles, it's coming. If you're worried about money, it's coming. If you're worried about this new beginning, it's coming. And it will be abundant. This is a big windfall of money as well. This is a lot of money coming in for Scorpios. I mean, for years we've been saying this, you know, this last year at least. Scorpios are really on this come up now, okay? Scorpios are ready for this abundant beginning. You know, ready to leave this behind. So don't let it hold you back, okay? This is just a little bit of self-doubt. Don't let it hold you back. This is commitment coming. Okay, this is a relationship that's solid, that's committed, which is brand new. This is wonderful. The Empress, abundance. Something that will grow into something very strong. This is Pentacles, guys. Could be an Earth sign that you're dealing with. Maybe Taurus here. But yeah, this is like... You may be overspending on clothes at the moment, okay? So be careful about that. <laughs> look good you know you look good Scorpio you look good look at you you're an empress like when people are like yes queen you're like hello I'm an empress so you're really taking on good energy right now you know this is what the universe wants to hand to you this abundance be accepting of it don't worry about it just welcome it the devil card could indicate a Capricorn for some here I do feel like maybe temptation may be uh, getting in the way here or, you know, this nine of swords could be um, this devil energy, this worry, this self-doubt here. That's what's creeping in for some of you. For others of you here, doubting that, you know, this new beginning or that it'll happen for you. Um, you may not get this offer. You may not get this money. Self-doubt, it's worry. 
Some of you may be um, led away by a very tempting offer. A lot of exciting nights. We've seen the Scorpio video, right? You know, I'm all jealous, right? <laughs> I'm jealous. So you've seen that video, yeah? You guys know which one I'm on about. So you may be getting some very tempting, desirable offers here, you know, like, let's go have some fun. So look at this, you know what I just heard? Every beauty needs a beast. <laughs> So I don't know what you guys are up to. Let's not focus on that other Scorpio read. We'll save that for the sexual magic deck there. But some of you are getting some offers that you can't refuse here. The sun. You're going to say yes to this offer anyway. But this is major positivity. Okay, guys. If you're worried um, maybe about something to do with health, this is healing as well. Okay. This is wonderful healing and things going your way. Look at these major arcana. I mean, the devil card, the only thing I'm seeing here is temptation. Somebody trying to tempt you with something. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And like I said, you may be tempted to overspend on clothes at this time, but you could be making a big purchase. So be careful because as Venus moves into... Um, Scorpio season on the 8th of October and we are 2nd of October today when I'm recording you're going to see great value in things in yourself and like wow that's a bargain I'm going to buy it and you're going to see great value in other people so um, what happens is we may overspend or give in to temptation and that's the devil card here but it'll all be fine you know it just means like with the sun here, returning, your solar return. Happy birthday if you're, you know, um, if you see this during your birthday season. Um, but yeah, this is like your solar return. You may have had a few problems and things because a few of the swords are in her. Um, and, you know, in the nine of swords, we say the swords are touching her. So we say, you know, it's nothing to worry about. Three of the swords have. So you may feel like, oh, well. What if it happens in the future? I've had this heartbreak already. I've had the free of salt. No, don't worry about it. You're going to heal from that. The sun just came out to say the sun just came out, Scorpios. OK, this is good. positivity changes. This is like the phoenix rising. You, it's like rebirth, getting re-energized here. Enjoy it. Just don't overspend. Let people give you presents instead. <laughs> but yeah. Let's see, Scorpio, so far so good, it's all good, I'm a Scorpio too, I'm happy with this, Empress. Judgment, it's your time. You might feel like, you know, as we have this solar return now, what can happen is um, our life path can make major changes, maybe even in career, or we may see a child born here, there's going to be like... Um, a major redirection so um maybe if you were struggling before you're going to find that money is going to flow to you quite easily um maybe depending if you where your jupiter is in your sign there okay um whatever you're focusing on will expand so if you're focusing on worry you're expanding worry if you focus on your money you'll expand your money if you focus on new beginnings you're going to have these new beginnings okay so it's your time to collect now. It's this solar return. It's your, you know, as we come into Scorpio season, um, you're going to feel re-energized. You're going to feel like you're having a rebirth here. Okay, like born again. <clears throat> so you could have been through major changes where you don't even recognize yourself now. But we're seeing, you know, the positive side of it now. Healing, love. Could be a Leo for some. All major arcana there, but it is like when it comes up to birthdays and that. Okay, you all wanted to jump out, didn't you?
I feel like this is a separate read all on its own. So, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, the sun's come out now. Six of Pentacles here. Can you see the cards? Okay, Six of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Somebody who was giving to two people has now had a change of mind. They now have this inner conflict like, hmm, it's not working out for me. And guess what we have? Mercury retrograde. Don't blame me. Tell your ex no. <laughs> because they're, <laughs> they're coming back. I want to talk to you now. I made a mistake. I have regrets. I shouldn't have been given to that other person. I want to balance things out. I want to make things right. Always don't blame me. You're the one. <laughs> You're the one that I think about every day. Like, they blocked you. N now you're the one. Now they're taking away five of those ones to leave four ones for a new beginning. Please don't blame me, Scorpios. You might be cold as ice and say, ah, ah, ah. I don't think so, but they're offering a cup of love. So we're going to put these cards back in the deck because we got all this good stuff coming on and they want to jump in our life now. Queen of Swords mode. I'm stepping into my Aquarius moon, how I feel about this situation, like off with their head, <laughs> cut them out there. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, somebody who blocked you now feels like they made a mistake with the Five of Swords. And 31st of October, they're going to say, sorry, I gave my love to somebody else. Sorry, I was cold with you. Sorry, I blocked you. So somebody wanted to know that about their ex. Don't blame me. Okay, so let's see. laughing in the Scorpio reads because it's like now it's my turn to block you I can't help it somebody said to me stop laughing I I'm sorry I can't help it I find it amusing like they blocked us me too they blocked us and now they're like let's talk about it like about what that's my guide before you say it it's my guide on my right I've told you guys so many times it's my guide I guess those cards was for this reading. Five of Swords. <clears throat> so, you need to lock your doors, block your text, block your ex, block whoever. Somebody's coming back um, regretful. They've heard some about you. They want to know if it's true now. It's like they've heard some gossip about you. And oh, they're with somebody else. Oh my God, I, I need to go back and talk about it. So somebody's heard something about you. Um, so I feel like your defences need to be up here. Like, you just get into this place where you're here. I feel like it's selfish. It's not fair. That's why I wanted to put the cards back because like... Now you're getting to that point where you're healed and you've got these good things coming in and then they come back and I feel like it's not fair on you guys. Like they blocked you, they left here thinking, okay, I won. They didn't win and they're just realising now they didn't win. It's not, it's, <clears throat> it's not a good time to communicate. It's not. Look what energy they're bringing, Knight of Wands. You need to tell them to step up their game. Like, I've got a premiere set for tonight. 10.30 UK time. So, guys, watch it, okay? Watch it. 
because this is person is trying to come back in and test you to see if you'll allow the same sort of things. Okay, if you allow the same sort of things, they'll leave as quickly as they came back there because this is a retrograde, they're coming back in. I mean... Ace of Wands, they want to talk, they want to make you an offer. Uh, what's the offer? D. <laughs> Just... <laughs> no, they, they want to make you an offer. But you've got so many good things right now coming to you. This person will want to drain your energy. And the Nine of Wands is um, protecting the fruits of your labor, protecting how far you've already come. You know, this is usually a farmer protecting his field or a soldier having a rest on the battlefield, okay? It's not time for this because the energy is not right, okay? You see that five of wands? It'll still be a lose-lose energy if they make an offer with being a knight. They're still being childish. They want to offer... <clears throat> See what they want to offer in the Scorpio read, you guys know. Okay, I'm off. Good luck, guys.